Lost time is never found again. Benjamin Franklin said that, but if Benji had have known that I would have created a time portal capable of visiting history and all the people within, well, he would have been like, oh, yo, Ziggy, would you mind if I, we put your face on the $100 bill? And I would have been like, well, sure, whatevs, hashtag YOLO. I'm Ziggy Montgomery, and welcome to another exciting episode of... <laughs> Traverse back now over 600 years to a land of castles, curries, and football hooliganism to meet a war hero, a seducer, and a master criminal. Some historians have called him a hero, others a terrorist, and some argue he may not have existed at all. My dear guest, welcome to the show. All right, Governor, pip pip. Hello there indeed. Now, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, but you've stolen quite a bit of stuff in your day. Cast your mind back. What was the most impressive thing you've nicked? Oh, I once stole a troop of healthy, defiant albinos from the king. What? Just took them, put them in the sun. And? They died. You stole some albinos from the king? Weird that he's got a collection at all. He just needed them. Never gave a reason, but I took them. But <laughs> And put them in the sun, and those poor albino children, men? Uh, well, we'll never know. They're all raisins now. <laughs> oh, and what did you do with the albino people raisins? Oh, I, I gave them to me mates. Well, at least that was nice. It was. It was for my friend's wedding. Oh, what a day. Your criminal organisation right. has been described as being merry. What are some of the ways you like to keep morale high in the workplace? Well, aside from promising them healthy, defiant albinos... Yes. We do a little song singing times. Oh, would you care to give me a little ditty? Hello there. We live in a wood. Do you think that you could? If you could, join us today and with your hair... We'll have a play. And then we braid each other's hair. Oh, that's lovely. It was. It's nice. I love when people play with my hair. I once had hair. Okay. Fair enough. It's not about you, though, is it? No, it's not. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you rob from the rich and give to the poor. But if you give money to the poor and they become financially better off, can you then rob back off them? Absolutely. It is a fluid system that is made of extremely flawed logic. Yes, it sounds like a vicious cycle. Ah, well, we try not to use the word vicious. We like to think of it as, well, let's say you have a healthy, defiant albino. Oh, this again? I'm sorry, I just find that... No, I'm amazed that you find so many healthy, defined albinos just lying about the place. I hope that we're allowed to talk about albino people in this way. Are you ready for the final Fast Five? The final Fast Five? That's my favourite movie. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. Errol Flynn, Kevin Costner or Russell Crowe? None of them. I would murder them all and drink their blood. And I choose Paul Bettany, who played an albino in the movie The Da Vinci Code. How are things with your girlfriend, Marion? Let's say that you had a girlfriend, but also you wanted to live in a forest and be a criminal. Bit, bit of a rough choice. It's awkward. So I choose Paul Bettany. Oh, again with Paul Bettany! <laughs> you go. Right, I will. If a tree falls in Sherwood Forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Yes, it sounds like this. No, 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 no. The, the last bit was deers dying under the tree. Talking deers? Just, oh, no, my antlers. It's terrible. I, I agree. Have you ever seen a dead deer? It's awful. I saw uh, the head of one once in my friend Nigel Rutherford's study. Oh, I, uh, Nigel, yeah, I know him. He's good. He's good when he's good, but when he's bad, he's horrible. Yes. How do you feel about Brexit? How do I feel about breakfast? No, Very bre good. Brexit. How do I feel about Breaking Bad? Good no, series. No, bre Brexit. How do I feel about Vitabrits? Bad. They're awful. OK, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, finally, did you really run around Nottingham in tights? Did I ever? Ladies, Marion has dumped me. Is there anything you want to say to the potential girlfriends out there? Um, I am not a generous lover, but I don't have the pox, so could be worse. Swings and roundabouts. Well, Robin Hood... 
It's been a merry time having you aboard. Very good. Say hello to Nigel for me. I shall. Pip, pip, plums ahoy. You're talking about your balls? No, I'm talking about plums. Always. <laughs> Goodbye forever. <laughs> 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 plums ahoy, I like that. That's great. Ah, thanks for tuning in. Go forth and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like the video and leave a comment below. And stay tuned for next week's episode. Ha ah! If he's watching now, is there anything you'd like to say to him to clear the air? Zeus, come back home. You just went out for some ciggies. I don't care about it, okay? I don't care about it if you stole U571. It's Matthew McConaughey.